All right, so yeah, OU opens up their season September 5th in Jerry Jones land at the new Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Um, going to be a hard take. We were going to go down there, but I think I'm just going to stay here, enjoy a few beers, and watch the game. Um, def- I'll be staying at home, definitely. Um, parking's going to be like 30 bucks uh, for a parking spot here down there. Beer is like $8 a beer. And it is six point, but still eight dollars a beer is a lot. So if you plan on going down there, getting a cheap ticket, parking for free, and getting drunk, then well, you better bring about three hundred dollars. Um, tickets uh, face value eighty five dollars. It's ridiculous um, that uh, it's not ridiculous that it's eighty five dollars, but what the scalpers will be trying to sell them for will be ridiculous. I have a friend who thinks he's going to go down there and get a ticket for seventy dollars after the end of the first quarter, and I'm like, dude, it's still going to be like two hundred bucks. So. Anyways, that should be a good game. Uh, BYU is going to be tough uh, for like the past five years. Utah and BYU have kind of alternated back and forth of who's on top of the Mountain West. Um, and we saw what Utah did last year going into the Sugar Bowl. Just I mean, they just beat the crap out of Alabama. And um, so if that's any indication of what's come this year for BYU, because like I said, they alternate back and forth. And if oh, it's BYU's, BYU's year to win – the Mountain West, if it holds to form, and if they're better than Utah was, because they can just progressively get better and better between the two, uh, it could be dangerous. It's going to be a tough game. I still think OU will handle it pretty easily. I think they'll get off maybe a early 14 nothing lead. Uh, probably be a pretty even game after that. Um, I think they can hold off uh, maybe like a 37-20 win or something. Uh, we'll see how it happens. If we don't play, if we play close games this year, I'm not going to be upset because I think that's one thing that hurt us last year. Going into Texas, I don't think, except maybe except for the Cincinnati game, I think the starting uh, starting eleven on offense played maybe three minutes of the fourth quarter in Cincinnati, and they didn't play a single lick of the fourth quarter in the other uh, five games, and uh, that's when you know things went wrong. Um, you know, um, everybody went down, it seemed like, in that Texas game. But it was in the fourth quarter when I think I think fatigue played a factor in it, too. Definitely with the offense because it's, uh, you know, they everybody talks about, well, we didn't have so-and-so on defense. But it was the offense that, you know, in a shootout, they're the ones that stopped scoring. And that's not the defense's fault. And I think it maybe been uh, due to some fatigue. And also, you know, start scoring 60 points every you know, week, you know, he would score 55 and a half on a team. Um, going into Florida, I mean, we played a great game, but then, you know, there at the end, it just kind of just fell out of our hands. So, um, if we play some close games this year, I think it's going to work into our favor, uh, be more uh, fourth quarter tested. That way, we, um, I would love to see a rematch with Florida this time in the Rose Bowl, Pasadena. Uh, Actually, that was the last place that we won a BCS game. Man, I, oh, that's a long time ago. It's bad. Still love my Sooners, baby. 